I know a lot of people in the carnival community say, well, all you need is basically just meat steak. And, you know, to a large proportion of population, that probably is okay. Um, you know, it's way better than everybody else, uh, whatever they're doing. A couple of eggs and steak is probably all you need. But there are going to be some genetic differences there where you may need a bit more retinol because you've basically got an Irish ancestry and have really downregulated carotenoid conversion. So the carotenoids in grass-fed beef can't be as converted as easily. You could have my genes where you've got the NTHFR issue, you've got so. You need more riboflavin to correct that. I've done a video. So MTHFR is not really an issue. It's not a disease, actually. It's just in the past, people who ate, ate more organ meats of my ancestors. So as a consequence, you know, certain things get downregulated um, and you need more of something. Um, I've got a calcium, yeah, you know, I don't know talk about genetics and that's because my both sides of my family have pastoral genes from goat herders and sheep herders but primarily goat herders you know if i go back even though my mother comes from a lowlands her great grandfather and that came from thedmore which is a highland it's basically a um a mountainous area so basically pastoral genes and so my uptake of calcium is very much reduced. So it's not ancestral. So somebody who is a Hadza can absorb far more calcium from meat. I can't because my ancestors consumed a lot of dairy. So I've basically got a genetic requirement to basically eat more, de um, you know, calcium-rich foods. It's not a, you know, it's, it's not so optional. It's a necessity because of genetics. Otherwise, I end up with a much lower calcium serum level. So, you know, the last 10,000 years, there have been some genetic changes and we have to accept that reality. So there are going to be some slight differences. So I don't subscribe to the steak only approach for everyone. You know, there are going to be slight differences. And I think that, uh, you know, you know, calcium rich foods need to be considered I've got people who have got Chinese background that basically got rid of their lactose bacillus using things like kefirs and stuff like that and certain gut bacteria like the lactobacillus type, um, things like that to fix their ability to tolerate um, dairy products. So, you know, anything's sorted can be sorted.